Breaking Curses 101. I just want to uh, greet you guys and uh, show you where I was on my hair journey. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's, I'm four years natural. <laughs> but anyway, no, this is not about hair. This is about ministry. Um. Anyway, I... I want to make it my goal in 2018 to start doing speaking engagements on my book. The anointing follows the book. People get healed every time I talk about it. And uh, that's what I want to do in 2018. And also I want to do more real estate, more real estate investing. I even want to try commercial real estate. You know, I don't know why. I just, I got a, I got a taste for that, you know? I don't believe that I have to be one dimensional. Yeah, I think that God has given us a lot of gifts and talents. And we need to use all of them and not let people put us in a box. See, God has placed us in this earth for a reason. Satan has put all these chains and shackles on us to block the gifts that God has put into our family. And through the ministry of deliverance, we free up those gifts. We free up the talents that God has placed in us so that we can be used of God. So those talents can be used in the earth to help somebody. It's just like the people of Israel coming out of, out of Egypt. They were delivered out of Egypt to go into the promised land. But many of us get delivered and we stay in the wilderness because we're too afraid of going into our promised land. Well, I'm going into my promised land. Um, yes, there's giants in this promised land. It ain't easy in this promised land, but I got slammed in 2016. I got scared out of my promise and I cried for the rest of 2016 <laughs> and I decided in 2017, ain't no devil in hell going to scare me out of my promised land. I'll just go in. I don't care how ill-equipped I look. I'm tired of waiting to, for everything to be all perfectly laid out before I go into my promised land. I'm going in. I'm like... If you get the picture of a stray dog that's hungry, his fur is all ratted out, you know, he's been in many fights. <laughs> you know that stray dog in the neighborhood. Well, back in my day, they had a lot of stray dogs. And um, they look really bad. And those stray dogs would, uh, if you try to get a bone away from a hungry stray dog, you in for a fight. Well, I'm like that little hungry stray dog. And ain't no devil in hell going to get this bone out of my mouth. Okay? No. Ain't nobody going to scare me. I'm way too hungry right now. I'm way too hungry. Okay? So, that's my promised land journey. I hope that you get uncomfortable enough so that you go into your promised land. Get out of Egypt. That old way of life is not satisfying. You are in bondage. Aren't you tired? Aren't you tired of being in bondage? Well, if you've been on my page for more than a year, then you should be walking towards deliverance. You should be uncomfortable where you are and you should be moving out of where you are. And maybe you may be in the wilderness right now. Maybe things are uncomfortable for you, but at least you're out of Egypt. In the wilderness is where you learn God's love for you and how he will provide for you outside of Egypt. Okay. Egypt is the system. God is going to provide for you outside of that system. Maybe your Egypt was a bad relationship. Maybe your Egypt was, you know, you were shacking up with a guy because you couldn't pay the bills yourself. And so you stayed with him, but God is calling you out of that relationship 
because he's going to be your husband and provide for you until you get married. Well, you know, maybe your Egypt was a job where you were getting used and abused and God wants you to start your own business. Maybe your Egypt was the hood. <laughs> maybe you're in Compton. <laughs> maybe you're on the south side of Chicago and you want to move. Maybe that's your Egypt. God wants to move you out of Egypt into your promised land. But you had to go through the wilderness first. Where you're turning your back on the ways of Egypt, the values of Egypt, um, people in Egypt. Yeah, you're going to have to walk this journey somewhat by yourself with the Holy Spirit. Because all your friends are going to be back in Egypt. <laughs> all your friends are in Egypt. Okay? You can't associate with them. You're coming out of Egypt. It's not because you think you're better than them. You're leaving Egypt. Either you're going to be in or out. You got to pick one. You can't be have one foot out of Egypt and all your friends in Egypt, but you don't, don't want to feel conceited, so you're going to stay in Egypt. No, you got to pick one. You got to pick one. You got to find some new friends. <laughs> I'm sorry. You got to find some new friends, y'all. Okay. So anyway, God wants to move you out of Egypt. You got to go through the wilderness. It's going to be lonely in the wilderness. You may not see your provision 10 days out, you know, a year out. You may not have it all. The point of point of the wilderness is you don't have it all figured out. You're going day by day by day, trusting God each day. Okay. All right, you're trusting God each day. That's wilderness. When you get to the promised land, that's when, you know, abundant provision. All right, but some of y'all are stuck in the wilderness. It's time to get out and go into the promised land. Yes, it looks scary, but it's time to move forward. Okay, some of y'all just need to get straight out of Egypt. And some of y'all got one foot in Egypt, one foot in the wilderness and looking scary in the wilderness. So you keep going back to Egypt. You keep going back to that old boyfriend. You keep going back to your mama house. You keep going back to the hood. You keep going back to the workforce. Woo. You keep going back to the drugs. You keep going back to the uh, 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 alcohol. Yeah. You keep going back to Egypt. You'll never know what God can do for you until you get out.